Hi guys! One of the issues that I am experiencing with my 2017 iMac is the lack of speed. Maybe because of the RAM capacity, I only bought this on 8GB capacity. And it's only running on HDD rather than SSD. So if you will compare this or my 2017 iMac to my MacBook Air 2017, it's somehow my MacBook Air is somehow faster than my 2017 iMac. But, you know guys, I just solved my issue with my 2017 iMac and I will show you how and of course, I will review this product after. Hi guys! If you're new here to my channel, I'm Franz Esco. I'm a freelance graphic and web designer here in the Philippines. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I made my iMac or my 2017 iMac two times or three times faster than before. So I'm gonna show you this item or this product that I bought. It's... It's Samsung Portable SSD T5 in 500 gig in capacity. So I bought this around um, 5,000 pesos or that's around $100 USD. So I bought this on Shopee or you can just buy this in any gadget stores or in malls. But it's quarantine and you know you just stay home. So I have no choice but to buy this online but of course you have to first uh, check the store's feedback first before buying anything so guys i already unboxed this one and just to check everything if it's complete and no damage but i'll still show you guys what's inside of the samsung portable ssd t5 and how it made my imac 2017 imac two times or three times faster than before so here's the whole box of the Samsung T5 portable SSD with 500 gig capacity and at the back shows the details of the SSD. So it's compatible with Windows, Mac, and Android and even your Android phones just check your computer first before buying this one see if they're compatible with each other so let's open this up now so I already attached this one to my iMac but look how small and tiny it is it comes with a blue matted color it's super sleek and lightweight so it also comes with of course the manual comes with different languages it also comes with two cables the USB 3.1 type C to C and the 3.1 type c to a cables which is already attached into my iMac so i already set up and configured this um samsung portable ssd into my iMac as a boot drive and it made a huge a lot difference compared before so i'm gonna show you how i how i set this up and maybe it can help you too with your devices or in your iMac. So once plugged in, the first thing you need to do is to open your disk utility. Then click show all devices. And then click the very top of the SSD. And then at the top, you can see the erase tab. So once click, you just have to rename, rename it or you can call it SSD or anything you want. Then select the format. 
Mac OS Extended Journal, and GUID Partition Map. Then just hit Erase. Next, you have to make a clone, a copy of what's inside your HDD. So, I'm using the Carbon Copy Cloner. You can download it for free for 30 days and that's in trial version. So, once downloaded, you just have to open it up and copy everything from your OS to your new SSD. Or you can exclude files if you want. Same with what I did. I excluded my Dropbox folder and it will still work by the way using the internal HDD. So once cloned and done, you're now ready to switch from your internal HDD to your SSD. So open your startup disk, select the SSD folder, and just hit restart. You'll now see the big changes. So this is a great alternative or a great buy if you don't want to open this whole thing and break your iMac into pieces. So it's a great buy because it's an external and it just takes minutes to set it up. So in my um, two weeks experience with the Samsung port portable SSD, portable. Um, it made a huge difference compared before, uh, especially on the startup menu or on the startup of this iMac. It loads before it loads about one minute or two, but now that I have this setup, it loads just about ten or twenty seconds. Imagine that. Um, before my. Photoshop and Illustrator uh, when used simultaneously or in between it just crashes and it lags um, in between my working um, My working time period, but now that I'm using this one It just works smoothly. It didn't cause any lag or error or any issues just in just a click it will just pop up on your screen. So that's about my product review for today and I hope I can do more videos about reviewing products and if you have any any suggestion that you want me to review or if you have any product that you want me to review just send it to me and or just message me or on Instagram or here just leave a comment down below or if you have any suggestions um, or video, video suggestions about freelancing or about web design or graphic design just leave your comment down below and I'll answer it uh, in just a sec please subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos and follow me on Instagram I'm always active on there and posting almost every day not just weekends of course that's my leisure time I hope you do like and I hope this video is helpful for you, of course, in upgrading your your devices or your machines in your work. And yeah, see you again soon. Bye.